Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am in a bit of a different setting right now. I'm actually filming in my guest bedroom because it's practically empty since we are moving and the natural lighting in here is pretty awesome. So I thought I would go ahead and film this in here. But the video I have for you today is somewhat of a hefty home decor haul. Uh, since we are moving, um, our our deadline is April to be out of here by April 1st, if not sooner. So over the past year, I've been buying things for the new place and we've also been decluttering and getting rid of a bunch of crap that we had have collected over the years. So if you want to see the items that I've picked up for the new place, then keep watching and we'll get started. Bye! I'm going to tell you guys where I got everything and I'll try to remember how much it was. Like I said, I've been stockpiling items for like the past year since ever since we were, have plans to move. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the first two things are two kitchen towels that I got on clearance from Target and I had seen these like six months ago and they just went on clearance so I was like obsessed with these. Our kitchen in the new place is all white uh, and then our dishes are going to be like mint, coral, baby blue and either yellow or like a light, like a reddish color. Um, so these towels will match perfectly. I already have the dishes picked out from Wayfair.com. I haven't purchased them yet, but they are in my uh, list of saved items. But yeah, I got these for $1.25 each. Um, so that's, that's that. The next two are these kitchen towels as well. And they're gray, mint, white, yellow, orange. Um, and they have this gorgeous, like, I don't even know, it's like a, almost like a mandala pattern. They also have this in a, um, shower curtain, so we don't need a shower curtain because we're going to have a, um, like a glass door or whatever. So if we were having a shower curtain, then I would definitely get these, to, get that to match this. But these were $2.50 each. And I really needed new kitchen towels because the ones I'm using right now I've had like ever since I moved into this place and I've been here for six years so they're pretty old. The next thing um, is this little like bird hook and um, it actually goes like this. <laughs> you just screw it onto like the wall and it ha it's a little hook. You can use it for like jewelry, bracelets, necklaces or whatever. Um, I love birds, and so I saw this. I actually bought this for my room now, but since we're moving, I'm going to use it in the new room. The next two things are some things my husband picked up from Hobby Lobby, and he is into comic books and, like, characters and collecting, like, pop vinyl figurines and stuff like that. So he got these two little like speech bubble knobs and he's going to make a like a cabinet for his comics and he's going to put these on there on the drawer um, and these were in the clearance section for $1.69 each and they are chalkboards so you can write on them so those are really cool the next th three things well four things I got from Hobby Lobby um, they were having like their ceramic decor on sale and if you guys know me, my like favorite colors for de decor is like white, mint, and gold. So anything that is white, mint, or gold, like I am immediately drawn to. Um, and I also love feathers, <laughs> like any kind of feather print, feather decor. Um, I just love feathers. So I got these three feathers and they can be hung on a wall. So I got two of the large gold ones and I got one of the small white ones. So I'm going to hang these like on like a gallery wall. We're going to have a gallery wall. So that's where those are going to go. The next thing is just this gold wire basket. And I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. And it was in the clearance section for $6.12. 
Um, I love like wire baskets like this and of course it's gold so I had to have it. I figured I would put this on our coffee table or like an end table or something and put some like decorative spheres in it um, to make it look real cute. Okay, the next thing I have is this um, dimensional garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's kind of like falling apart in there. Uh, but yeah, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was $18, but I used a 40% off coupon, so I got it for whatever 40% is of that. And it just has like butterflies, and they have like a really pretty like chevron, and they're just like really pretty patterns. And they're teal, and kind of like a mint green, so I figured that I could hang this in my bedroom, our new bedroom The next two somewhere. things were actually a gift from one of my friends, and she got these Mary Mary Pop um, pinwheel decorations, and she gave me two boxes of them. She got these from TJ Maxx on the clearance, um, in the clearance section, because the clearance stickers are still on it. But um, they come with these really pretty like paper pinwheels that you can hang uh, from the ceiling or whatever. And I don't really like the navy blue since that's not my theme. But the white and the gold ones are gorgeous. And so yeah, I'm definitely going to hang these somewhere in the new apartment, either in the living room or the bedroom. I don't really know yet, but I'm excited to see what I can do with these. Okay, the next item I got is this little succulent picture, uh, and this is from Hobby Lobby, and it was $13.99, but these were 50% off when I bought them. Um, but yeah, it's just a little green succulent, and I love succulents, so a lot of the things you're going to see are very pastel, and you can see there's a huge picture behind me is succulents too. Um, so... Yeah, our, our theme, like I said, is white, gold, and mint with pops of like neutral colors, but there is a lot of like mint green and different color pastels in my decorative items that I'm going to have like hang up or sitting around. Um, so this is going to go in the entryway. We're going to have like a little gallery wall on the entryway, like the hallway next to the kitchen. So that's that. Then I got this uh, little memory frame from Hobby Lobby, and I already filled it with um, like concert tickets, uh, like football tickets, hockey tickets, and a picture of me and my best friend and my little brother from Chuck E. Cheese when we were like little teenagers. Um, but yeah, it's just a memory frame, so you pop this back thing out and you can put different items that you want to remember. Um, I used to have all this junk in like a box and it just wasn't very practical so I found this frame at Hobby Lobby and I really like the like cream colored rustic frame it has around it and this was $24.99 but I did use a 40% off coupon. The next item is this pretty like rustic-y Ugh, when I saw this, I had to have it. So funny story is we went on vacation to North Carolina um, this past September and me and the girls took a little day trip to this little mall and they had a TJ Maxx there and they had this there and it was $14.99 and I didn't feel like buying it because I didn't want to have to lug it like all the way back home with me in a, on a 12 hour car ride. Um, but the... So I couldn't quit thinking about this, and when I got back home to Ohio, I found it at RTJ Maxx, and it was like an answered prayer, <laughs> because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy they have it here, and I bought it. So it was $14.99, I don't know if I said that already, but this is what the back looks like, and it's just got adorable tribal print gold birds on it. I don't know if you guys can see those up close, but I love gold and I love birds, so this just spoke to me. The next item is this canvas I also got from TJ Maxx, and it smells like pee, and I don't know why. I had this sitting in my living room, and every time I would sit at my computer, I would get like whiffs of this and it was like disgusting. I don't know if it's just like the wood or the canvas or what, 
but it smells so gross. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a kind of ombre canvas with a gold floral pattern paisley heart on it. And I don't know if there's like a glare, but it's gorgeous. And it was $14.99 as well. And it was just it's so pretty. So I can't wait to hang that up. And like I said, this is stuff that I've collected like over the past year. So no, I didn't just like go on a spending spree and buy all this crap in one day. <laughs> because that would have been a lot of money and crazy. But the next thing, I figured I'd get this out of the way. This is a succulent picture and it's so pretty and they had this at Target they don't carry it anymore um, they had this like I think like over the summer and I believe it was $29.99 um, I actually had been eyeing this for months and months and I finally just broke down and bought it um, but yeah it's gorgeous. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. Probably in the living room, but I love it. Okay, the next thing I have had in my closet for years, and I had plans to hang this in our current living room, but since I never did, I figured I would save it for the new place, and it's just a pretty decorative hanger, and you can hang it. It has hardware on the back to hang it, and you can put like pictures or whatever um, in these little clips. So I just thought this was super cute. I got this either from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Uh, I bought this like five years ago, so honestly I have no idea how much I spent on it. But that's that. The next thing is this little um, like ceramic teacup for creamer or whatever. And I did get this from TJ Maxx, and it was $4.99. And I'm going to keep this in the kitchen just because it goes with, like, our color theme. And I, we're going to have, like, glass um, cabinet doors. So I figured I would make the inside look really pretty and put this, like, on display in the cabinet. The next two things I got were two packs of hangers. And I got... The same color, one is slightly different. Um, I got two packs of hangers. I just said that. This one was $4.99 for $12, and this one was $7.99 for $18. And I got these both from TJ Maxx. And so when we move into the apartment, we are redoing our we're redoing the closet in the bedroom. We have not started it yet. So once we move in, we're just going to keep all of our clothes on like hanging racks in the laundry room. So I figured I would get some pretty, <laughs> some pretty hangers since my clothes are going to be all on display for the world to see. Um, not for the world to see, but you know what I mean. Um, and also I wanted to keep my like Poshmark items on a separate hanging rack. So I figured I would get some hangers to display them nicely on that rack. Okay, the next thing is this macaroon picture. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was $15.99 on sale for 50% off. So it was $8. And again, with the pastels, this goes perfectly with our theme for the kitchen. So this is probably gonna go in the kitchen somewhere. The next thing is this plate, and this was $1.99 from Hobby Lobby. I got it for 50% off. It's just a pretty mint green, mint green decorative plate, and I figured I would put this in the kitchen um, on display behind one of the glass cabinet doors. Um, so yeah, just got one of those. The next thing I got was also from Hobby Lobby. Can you guys tell that I really, really love Hobby Lobby? And this was $9.99, but of course I either used a coupon or it was on sale. This says laundry, and it has an adorable, like, pennant flag with birds on it. And it matches our colors. So I figured I would put this on the wall, um, like, right as you walk into the laundry room. And then put this below it. So 
so it would like point to the laundry room. Uh, I actually made this um, with chipboard from Hobby Lobby and then I just stuck scrapbook paper over top and just Mod Podged it down to the arrow and then just cut around the edges with an X-Acto knife. So I thought this matched perfectly and I thought it was a really cute idea to have this like pointing to the laundry room. The next item I got was also from Hobby Lobby and this is just a pretty rustic wood sign that says you and me and this was $11.99 but it was 50% off so it was like $6 and I figured I would put this on our floating shelves that we're going to have in the living room. Um, I'm always changing up the decor on my shelves so <laughs> I have a constant rotation of different items that I put up there but I thought this was really cute and it's going to go really well with our Okay, the decor. next thing we got from either Home Depot or Lowe's, and this is a little key rack, and it's an octopus, and it matches our colors, and my husband actually picked this out. It's so cute. Um, it's from the brand Young House Love, and I think this was $12, um, but yeah, definitely worth it because it's adorable. We're going to hang this right by the... the in the entryway by the front door. And the last couple of things I'm going to show you guys are going to go in our kitchen. I got these wooden letters from Michaels and they spell out eat and I painted them to match our kitchen decor. So the E is like a mint green, the A is a pretty peachy coral color, and the T is a baby blue. And I'm just going to have all of these setting on the counter. Um, I don't know if that's backwards to you guys, but I'm going to have them setting on the counter, um, like on the countertop in the kitchen. And it's going to match our dishes and all of the decor in there. And the last thing, the final last thing I have to show you guys is this uh, mail holder. We got this from Marshall's. And it was $19.99, and again with the mint green. And also, this print is my absolute favorite print in the entire world. Um, we're looking for a bed set in that print and a rug. And yeah, so I'm just going to hang this by the main door, um, and we can just stick like mail in it or bills or whatever um, stuff that we need to mail out, stuff that I need to ship out. So yeah, that is that. And that's what the back looks like. It's just wire, and then you can just hang it from the top right here. So that is everything that I have to share with you guys today. I know that was a really, really long haul, um, but I'm sure this is not going to be the end of it because there's still a lot of more things that I need to get for the new place. And so this will probably be a continuation um, there will be a continuing series of home decor hauls and I also want to show you I also want to vlog our move-in process and show you guys what the place looks like eventually um, everything's done except for the flooring the painting and the trim um, uh, we're gonna move in once that's all done and then we're gonna finish the kitchen and the bathroom and the closet as we go because there is a kitchen and a bathroom upstairs um, that we can use so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more moving vlogs um, or home decor hauls or whatever, let me know. Uh, if you would like, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button down there next to the subscribe button to be notified of every time I upload a video. I would really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.